I've made so many mistakes as a YouTuber slash content creator. So in today's video, I'm going to share with you the mistakes that I've made in hopes that you learn from me and you don't make the same mistakes because I want you to succeed as a YouTuber slash content creator. Hello, I'm Pachia. Welcome to my channel where it is all about having a good time. Teaching, inspiring, motivating, entertaining. If you are looking for a good time all the time, then consider subscribing. Thinking back to the person I was producing content years ago, I was a fool. I first started YouTube because I wanted a creative outlet and build my on-camera confidence for the big Hollywood roles. Such a fool, I tell you. I was so stuck on what I wanted. I was blocking a bigger blessing from the universe. Before I even posted my very first video on YouTube, I did a lot of research. I researched like how to be a YouTuber, how to grow your channel, how to get your first 1,000 subscribers, how to find your niche, how to niche down, how to get confident on camera. Any video related to YouTube or content creating, I watched it. And during my heavy research, I found creators like Annie Dubay, Vanessa Lau, Think Media, Aaron On Demand, Catherine Manny, all of which they're in the same niche of how to be a YouTuber, content creator, how to grow your business, how to grow your channel. They all have very different styles and approach to how they delivered their message or created their content. Once I posted my very first video, I chose not to niche down because one, I really didn't know what type of video videos I was going to create and two, I really didn't want to niche down because I didn't want to be trapped into talking about only one thing. But that was my first biggest, big, 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 big mistake. The purpose of a niche is to let the audience and YouTube's algorithm know what your channel is all about. And because my first 20 videos, maybe give and take more so than that, were all over the place. I talked about my dogs, quitting my job, all-inclusive resorts, waxing, door dashing. Like, if you came to my channel two years ago, you would have no idea who I was or what I was about. Vanessa Lau gave one of the best advice I've ever heard. She said, if you are talking to everyone then you are talking to no one and that was exactly what i was doing in the very beginning of my youtube channel just talking to everyone but since i've learned from my mistake i have become more focused on the types of videos that i want to create i'm all about personal growth personal development and co-creating with the universe you know what's crazy i have a few older videos about law of attraction meditating journaling and pursuing your dream but i stopped filming those type of videos because I had imposter syndrome, which I later learned is actually a thing as a content creator, but that was such a mistake. I should have continued filming those types of videos because that was then and still now what I'm passionate about. And the universe was guiding me then to talk about personal growth and development and co-creating with the universe, but I wasn't listening, but I'm listening now, you know? So I've learned from my mistake and I'm listening now with that being said will personal development personal growth and co-creating with the universe always be my sort of content it's not concrete my content may change as i change but what won't change is that my channel is always about us having a good time teaching inspiring motivating entertaining as long as i'm fulfilling one of those four with every single one of my videos i think we're gonna be okay Another mistake I made in the beginning of my content creating career, not trusting the process. Like everything else, there is a process, but I didn't wanna go through that process. I wanted immediate results. I wanted overnight success and financial freedom, but I was a fool to think that was going to happen. This job, this career is far from overnight success. Can videos go viral? Yes. Is it a good thing when the videos go viral? Yes, because viral videos mean exposure. And if people are not particularly searching for your type of content, exposure is a good thing. But viral videos does not equal success. None of my videos have ever gone viral, but that's not a bad thing because I can still exp my channel through social media platforms like TikTok and Instagram. Even though it cringes me to market myself on TikTok and Instagram, 
it's part of the process. I do not have a marketing team. I don't have a manager to do the work for me. I'm doing it all by myself as of this moment today, right now, which won't always be the case because I am manifesting a team and a manager. Anyways, totally not the point. The point is the mistake that I made was not trusting the process but I must trust this process if I desire the success that comes with being a content creator. So a girl's gotta do what a girl's gotta do. Think media once said, or they say, this is not about post and pray. You cannot post and pray. And that was what I was doing, especially in the beginning of my content creating year. I would make a video, I would not market, I would not share, I wouldn't tell anybody. It took me actually six months to tell my family and friends that I had a YouTube channel, okay? The biggest, 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 biggest mistake I've made as a YouTuber slash content creator is thinking that I was the exception. Mm -mm. No, 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 no. As I said earlier, I did a lot of research before I posted my first video on YouTube. And I only posted my first video after I felt prepared. Mm. There is no exception as a YouTuber slash content creator. There is no amount of research one can do to prepare themselves for a content creating career. There is only constant research and preparation. My first video on YouTube, I seriously thought it was excellent, clear message, relatable. I was I thought it was going to be a hit. And the thumbnail that went with that video, I thought magical, beautiful, it's totally clickable. I'm now going to share a five second clip from my very first video on YouTube. But what does it mean to be human? I have no freaking clue. There is nothing in this universe that says, this is what a human is, this is what a human does, this is how a human acts. We are our own person. So that means we have our own likes, dislikes, emotions, and studies have shown we have 60,000 thoughts a day. I know, 60,000 thoughts a day. I mean, even that was hard for me to watch. Like, mm, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I can't believe that girl thought she was gonna make it with that video. I was such a fool and so naive, I did not see the learning curve. If you are wanting to be a content creator or maybe you posted one or two videos or maybe you've gone, you know, even 20 videos and you still feel like you're making mistakes, I really hope that this video has helped you, has guided you and has inspired you to not give up and to continue this path because I honestly believe that if you're watching this video, it's because you're meant to. I wish you luck in your content creating career. All the best. If you have any concerns or worries, please feel free to comment below. If you are feeling me and you're like, we need to hang on a weekly basis, click that subscribe button. I will see you in my next video. So until then, have a wonderful day and lovely week. Bye.